All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the most cursed setup for plasma. Um, I have my bell jar here hooked up to a vacuum, but there is magnet wire, <laughs> 22 gauge magnet wire uh, held down by a piece of wood going into a neon sign transformer. And there's another lead going to the base plate. Um, and inside, you may already notice there's some black on the enamel where I did this and got a nice little bit of flow. This is just, I just throw this together to play with, um, but it is definitely cursed. So let's talk about what's going on here. To control the output uh, from the neon sign transformer, I'm using my non-isolated variac. As it's a straight variac, there's no isolation transformer. So again, a very cursed setup. <laughs> and then there's the uh, refrigeration vacuum pump. So what I'll do, um, I'm going to take the power cord, which I leave disconnected while I'm close to the machine, and we will plug it in and then uh, start generating vacuum um, as soon as we increase the voltage just a wee bit. Okay, so the vacuum pump makes a terrible bit of noise. I'm gonna wait till I turn this guy on first. So this is in atmosphere. I'm increasing the voltage. This is on the primary winding, right? So you're not saying the output voltage, it's gonna be thousands of volts on the output. So we're gonna get to maximum power here. And there's nothing going between that gap right now. So that entire thing is a cursed high voltage. Like any of that is probably lethal. So uh, it would be bad to touch that plate right now. So we're gonna activate the vacuum here. There we go. I'll get in here somewhat close. I can't get any closer than this. There you go. Isn't that cool? Okay. I'm gonna turn off the vacuum pump. I'm gonna let in a little bit of atmosphere. So it's gonna be a pretty high vacuum. Um, probably I don't know if I get a hard enough vacuum, I'll make x-rays. I don't think I'm there with this uh, <laughs> this cursed setup. Let's, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate the power real quick. We'll kill that. And then uh, we'll switch to some less bright lights. Okay, so the only light on is the one on my, my poor man's mill drill press hack I have on the other side of the room. Let's turn Mr. Vacuum Pump back on. Oh, no, we should turn power on first. That way you can watch it kind of come to life. All right, so again, already at full power. She's darn near lethal. Let's turn on the uh, vacuum pump and let the magic happen. Let's see if I can get the vacuum gauge this time. I'm gonna stand right in front of it. Well, look at that, and that's just on vacuum. Looks way more brilliant on the camera. So, all right, and we're going to let some atmosphere back in. I'm going to turn off the power supply. There's the most cursed plasma setup I think you'll see on the internet. So, there you go. All right, I have to answer the question, is my vacuum high enough to generate radiation? Question mark? Power back on. Oh, I unplugged it for safety. Little habit from working with Tesla coils, so when I'm near the machine, I uh, take the cord and put it in my pocket or hold it in my hand. Um, yeah, let's fire that guy back up. And then uh, turn on Mr. Vacuum Pump. And we'll see if we get any reading. Oh, the bypass valve's open. We need to close that. There we go. All right. Don't want to get too close to those outputs. Well, look at that. You have an increase. We're at 1.9 micro rentgen an hour, 2.3. So, definitely generating a little bit.
can't really hear it over the vacuum pump. I turned off the high voltage there. Let's see if we can hear it if I turn the power back on. I wonder if the discharge is just having an effect on the circuits because I don't see the counts. I should see that blue light flashing. That may just be from the discharge affecting the circuits. I'm going to set it further over here. Let's see. Now it's just kind of naturally floating up there. All right. Let's try it again here. Not getting any actual counts. Yeah, it was just the discharge affecting the uh, the circuit. It's kind of obviously very unshielded. Add some more vacuum here. Other than looking very pretty, I'm just not getting any radiation increase. So anyhow, I guess uh, it does go along with the fact that you have to have a hard vacuum, like I was saying earlier. Uh, I had to check, though, because have Geiger counter will travel. But yeah, it's not going to... What you see is just background radiation in my area that's not from this device. Early on, I saw the counts increase for a bit, and that was just because of the, uh, the arc. The static discharge was producing enough RF to interfere with this thing, probably. I don't know what unholy cursed frequencies are being produced here, but this is a proper glass bell jar, so I don't want to do any localized heating with it there in the corner. Um, I'm wearing safety spectacles for this, so. Anyhow, uh, there you go. That's the most uh, cursed abomination of a high voltage setup you probably have ever seen on YouTube.